The math related to the working principle of an induction motor can be scary at times. In this video, I will try to explain it without using any mathematical equations. As a consequence of Lenz's law, when a conductor moving with a constant velocity enters a region of uniform magnetic field, it eventually comes to rest. So, if a magnetic field is rotating in space, then a conductor placed inside the field should also rotate in the same direction, so that from the field's reference frame, the conductor is stationary. The stationary part of an induction motor on which the conducting wires are wounded to generate the magnetic field is known as the stator, whereas the rotating conductor is known as the rotor. Consider a coil of conductor. When an AC supply is connected across the coil, a magnetic field is generated. The magnitude of the field at the center is pulsating sinusoidally, which is just a fancy way of saying its magnitude faces a sine curve. Now consider a second coil. These coils are identical except for the fact that their oscillations are a bit out of sync, that is, they have a phase difference. Now let's get rid of the coils and focus on just the vector. I had to remove the arrowheads to avoid congestion. The center is marked by the hollow point to give us a sense of direction. Let's add a magnetic field at an angle of 120 degrees and at a phase shift of 120 degrees. Similarly, a third one is added at an angle of 240 degrees and at a phase shift of 240 degrees. They represent the individual magnetic fields corresponding to the three phases of our supply. If we add the blue and orange vectors using the parallelogram rule of vector addition, then we get this green vector. Further, adding this new vector to our original red vector, we get our resultant magnetic field. As you can see, this magnetic field represented by the black line rotates uniformly with a constant magnitude. There is another way of visualizing this by using the tip-to-tip -tip method of vector addition. Here we can see how connecting the three vectors sequentially gives us the same result. This method is simpler and less messy than the previous one. In case you are curious about how this plays out inside the stator of a three-phase induction motor, here is a two-pole stator. The blue circles are the cross-section of the conductors, while the green and red circles represent the clockwise and counterclockwise magnetic field around them respectively. The radius of the green and red circles are the magnitudes of their fields. Similarly, this is a four-pole stator. There is one serious mistake in this animation, however. The magnetic field lines do not intersect in this manner. Instead, they come together to form continuous rings through the superposition principle. That's it for this video.